because there's you know there's obviously multiple ways yeah. to analyze this, but he does focus on the quantification of nature. I think this yeah. might be a, an important aspect. So just to read a little bit um, from Marcuse, yeah, and then we can, we can comment. He says, the quantification of nature, which led to its explication in terms of mathematical structures, separated reality from all inherent ends and consequently separated the true from the good, science from ethics. All right, yeah. so that's a, that's a really good point because what we're doing- I, I highlighted that one too, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, because that that just chops off final causality, right? And that just chops off sort of uh, teleology. And I think the general line here, and we agree with this, is that somebody somebody took a method and they turned it into a metaphysics. That was the mistake, right? Somebody yes. took a a scientific method, which is very powerful for making predictions and forming technology, but they turned the method into the metaphysics, right? They bracketed it off for the sake of methodology, certain considerations formal and final causality, right? right? Sort of brought things down into a restricted notion of efficient causality and then use a sort of tool, a very powerful tool that's really good at capturing certain aspects of reality, yeah. right? Those aspects that can be described mathematically, but then falsely, I think everyone would argue, including Marcuse, concluded that those are the only aspects of reality, right? Right. right. And you know, an analogy that's sometimes given here, I think it's a good one, is like, this is as foolish as thinking that because a metal detector is really good at detecting metal, that there's no such thing as plastic because it doesn't pick up plastic. Exactly. Right. right? Exactly. Yeah. And that it, it's the, just because the method is powerful and can do things and tell us stuff doesn't mean that that should be our metaphysics, right? Just because your method doesn't account for or doesn't include final causality doesn't mean that there aren't any ends, right? That extra move is, a, is an incredible leap and jump. Right. Now we can argue about that, but people have made that jump. And that's right. the problem. And as soon as that jump is made, as soon as ends are no longer recognized, as soon as teleology is out, as soon as final causality is out, it's just it's just prime matter, right? It's prime matter. It's just yeah. prime matter. 